How are you doing, people? Hope you guys. I hope you guys had a real good week this week. Hope you guys stay productive, and you guys are starting to do more stuff in your days to try to recover. Remember, try to be creative with your workouts and whatever you could do to, to improve on yourself. Every day, you got to improve on yourself. I've been watching other people's videos so I get ideas because, like I said, I'm, I'm working on my editing and stuff like that. But it's not just about that, people. It's about about adjusting my tripod. That's what it's about today. I'm just joking. But, um, and it was a little bit off. But anyways, I am I'm not trying to come up with excuses, but it sounds like an excuse because, but anyways, you know they've been painting the house and stuff. Smurf blue, obviously. And, um, just want to let you guys know, the turf's right behind me still, right there, rolled up. And what I'm going to do, instead of breaking all this stuff up and all that stuff, so I got all this stuff that has to go back in here. That Those tubs are mine. With my, my miscellaneous crap from when I left Arizona. And I'm going to be putting it back in here, but I've been cleaning this area up, so right there is where I'm going to be doing my video. Or I'm going to put the turf down so I'm inside the shade a little bit because like I said it's hot lately it's probably been over 100 degrees for at least three weeks consistently and I, I, I got used to it when I lived in Arizona but it's just different people and um sorry about that and today I just want to tell you guys just be grateful you guys are alive because you never know. There could always be worse, but it also could be better. But it's not going to get better unless you try to make it better. And that's what I want to tell you guys today. I was like watching a video, like I said, I was watching a couple of videos like this guy Nick something. I think he's from Germany or Russia or something. He's from the UK. I, I'm pretty sure he's from the UK. And um, he, had, he was born with no arms and no, no legs and stuff. He only has like a little foot and a little arm. But man, if you see this guy get around and do stuff, and he's like on a platform, he's like helping the audiences. I mean, he's like doing big stages and doing, he, he's, he's a very motivating person. When I saw him, like when I, I saw him before, like I remember the first time I got a glimpse of him was when I was in my wheelchair. And I was like, I was at my pity party. And I was just like, man, why me, why me? But there's always gonna be somebody worse off than you people. So it's going to be somebody that's this or this or that. You know, we got the opportunity. We had a second chance to live. Like if you had a stroke and you almost died, like mine was pretty severe when I had mine. I couldn't even talk. I had to go to speech therapy for a little bit when I was up in Arizona still. Like the first two weeks, they were just trying to make me talk and get me to start functioning as much as I can, trying to get re reviving motor, motor skills. And then trying to learn how to walk, and I couldn't walk at all. That's why I was in my wheelchair for like a whole year. Like the first year I should have got up and did more, but where I was at was not the best environment where I was at when I first came to California because I didn't have no family members up in Arizona. So I had to come to California. And you know, I thank the people that has helped me along the way and stuff, but I should have did more my first year when I had my stroke. I didn't, I was on my little pity party. Like I said, I discovered that guy, Nick, what, um, I forgot his name, but he has no arms and no legs. But if you watch him and you think your days are bad and stuff, go watch that guy. I'll see if I can find them and then I'll put it on a leak or I'll, I'll, I'll put it on Monday for sure. And no, I don't have no joke for you guys today. Today's a serious thing because I need you guys to start believing in yourselves and start doing more because the more you start having a different mindset with this recovery, the more you're going to be putting more into yourself because it's all about putting the extra work in out of your house. And when you go to physical therapy, you want to put the extra work there. I had a big talk with my physical therapist yesterday. He was telling me, and well, because he had to do a progress report because I had to turn my paperwork in because because every time you only get 12 sessions at a time, you know, 12 different times you could go. And after that, you have to um, do a progress report after your 12th time, which is yesterday. Because like I said, I go Tuesdays and Thursdays, but they're doing like the hand grip stuff and stuff and all, all the stuff where I was at when I first started, when I was still in my wheelchair. And I could probably, like this one, I did like 80 something or 90 something, I forgot what it was. Like my normal hand is good. But I remember I could only do like a couple of pounds on my hand, like squeezing and I couldn't even open it up like this, people. But the only way you're gonna improve on yourself is by improving on yourself. You gotta put the work in, people. 
you want to see results, you got to believe in yourself. You got to be strong-minded. I'm telling you, having a stroke ain't for the weak. It's not for the weak people. Because when you go to the stores or whatever you're doing, you're trying not. People don't really judge you. There's some people out there that are just are assholes. And that's all there is to it. And I um, hate to use the language like that. Sorry, but there is people like that. A holes, okay? But anyways, there are going to always be people in the world that are really kind to of you. They'll open the door for you and stuff like that, which is nice. But I like to be more independent now that I can walk more. When I was in the wheelchair, yes, it was a pain in the butt. But now that I'm more independent, I try to get, when I'm walking through the door, I use my cane, hold the door open, push it, lock it in like it is as a foot stop. And people still, sometimes still help me, and I'm all, thank you, thank you. But I got to learn how to be tough and up. Like when I go with my brother or my stepdad, oh, I'll drop you off right in front of the store. Thank you. But you know what? I'd rather him park for, I'd rather whoever's giving me a ride, I'd rather him park further away so I get the, I get more exercise and practicing walking because the more exercise you do, the more stuff you do. Plus, I want to just, I just got to get better. The only way you're going to get better is by putting that work in. So I have them parked further down the thing, like where there's hardly no cars or anything like that. Because like when I used to live in Arizona, I used to have nice cars and stuff. I used to park purposely away from everybody so I didn't get door dings or I didn't have shopping cars hit my car or something like that. And I, that's just the way it was before, people. But the way it is now, I park far away because I just want to walk further distance. And I just want to know I could do that. I don't want to be like, oh. And, I, and if I fall, I'll get back up, people. I hope I can. If not, then that's when I'll ask for a hand. But I want to try, people. You guys got to put that effort in every day. I want you guys to start believing in yourselves. I really need you guys to start doing more with yourselves because I know some of you guys are doing the extra work. And, but if you put that little extra, extra on top of it, each week, each every, every day when you get up, do a little bit more. Don't do a little bit less. Do a little bit more. And the more you do, the more you're going to feel better, like tomorrow or the next day or in the long run. And I hate to be all pitchy, pitchy about this stuff. Not bitchy, bitchy, pitchy, pitchy. Like pitching this stuff and just throwing it out to you guys all the time. Kiwi, come here. Go sit down. Go sit down. And um, you just got you just got to do what you got to do, people. Sorry if I'm a little bit over here and there. I've been up for a while, people. I was going to do my video early this morning, but it felt kind of cool. So I was like, I got a little bit of time. But now the heat's kicking in. Now I'm, trying to, now I'm starting to panic. So let's get to the workout. Let's do a leg workout today. And um, next week, I promise you, because I already got this, I thought I was going to be able to do it today. I was actually going to do the video tomorrow or Sunday, but I got to do it today because I got other little plans I got to do this weekend. I got to go fill up my water jug. I got things, I got little projects I got to do, people. And I should have planned it sooner. I know better than that because I grew up on a ranch with my grandparents. And I, that's how I learned how to drive when I was young. Pretty much learned how to drive when I was like eight years old on the tractor with my grandfather. And I learned how to do things. He showed me how to be, I wouldn't say the man I am because he wouldn't be proud of me the way I, how I got to this spot where I'm at, but he would be proud that I'm trying to make it. And he'd be proud that I'm making videos for you guys too as well. But anyways, I got my plants growing over here. I got tomatoes and um, peppers. And I should have started in March. I actually started like in the end of June, which is the wrong time for things. Cause I totally missed my, my spot. They'll still grow people. Are they gonna grow at their best? Nah. Am I at my best? Nah. I just wanted to show you guys that you guys always can improve on yourselves. So by putting more work in, just, that's it. Okay, let's get a little stretch out people. Let's do the shoulders. I know today's leg day, but I, I haven't did anything yet except doing moving things around and stuff, moving tubs, dusting stuff off so I can get everything back ready. Because what I'm going to get is a, probably a metal rack to put in there so I can put my tubs in there. I like to be organized, people. I'm not like the rest of my family. I think my family are hoarders. I'm not joking. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
Ten. And so I won't be going to a physical therapy for the next, um, probably for about the next month because once they turn in the paperwork yesterday and I got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday to talk about my AFO brace, I'm going to get an articulated art, um, AFO brace, the way it has a little bit of break point like at the ankle because this AFO brace, I'm, I can pretty much walk without my AFO and my knee brace, so my knee still wants a buckle, but I've been working on that, that's why I needed to start doing more leg work, that's why I got that that turf, things are going to start falling in place, people, but you got to get all these little things in place for to get the bigger thing in place. So that's why I try to teach you guys to do these little exercises to help out in the long run. Like I said, I'm not a physical therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm nothing. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm just a human trying to show you guys where I am at, where I do, and try to influence you guys, try to inspire you guys to do more, and try not to hear the dogs barking as much. Anyways, so what we're gonna do, since we got our hands together, Jesus, please look after me and my family, look after my dog Phoebe, look after my friend Veronica out there in Arizona, and look after everybody that watches my videos that are going through their recovery, give us the strength and the ability to make it through each day. And I am grateful that I wake up every day and I can make a difference or try to help people out there. And I thank whoever's looking over me to help me get better. And if Jesus is looking after me and all the angels up there, whoever is up there, thank you. Today I woke up very grateful and thankful towards everything I do. And in Jesus' name, amen. Remember, peace, well, <clears throat> remember people, I'm not trying to be religious on you guys. I do what I do, you guys do what you do. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go to toe touches, and then we're going to go to a squat with the hands up. So we get a little bit more more mobility out of ourselves, okay? Huh, Pee Wee? Come here. And we pet Pee Wee as well. Okay, go sit down. Go sit down over there. Go, go, Pee Wee. Go. So, so basically, toe touches. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, people. I felt those ones a little bit because they did stress me out really good yesterday. Like I said, when they do the evaluation, they do it's a progress report. They want to see where you were at, like when you first did it, and and to where my levels is to make sure there, there's a change going on before they turn the referral, which goes to the doctor, and it goes to insurance, and then once it gets okay, it goes back to the doctor, and then it goes to back to the physical therapist, and then they make an appointment out back there, which takes three to four weeks. I don't know why it takes long. Holy fuck, the lazy people. Sorry about the cussing. I get a little bit winded, people. I'm not not in good shape. I used to be in okay shape before. Pretty much 90% of my life I was. But all these bad decisions I made through life led me to where I had my stroke, stress, you know, drugs, illegal drugs, and um, gaining weight, losing weight. Doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing. I wasn't taking care of myself, but most of all, I was under a lot of stress. People I'm surprised I didn't have a heart attack. Like I said, my heart rate was over 200 when they found me on the floor. And I knocked myself out when I fell on when I had a stroke because I didn't know I had one. Anyways, one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and that's a good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to do two sets of these people because these knee rises are going to help you to walk in and out of stair, up and down stairs or go up and down curbs because out here there's a lot of curbs and stuff. And going inside stores and stuff like that from the parking lot to the to the store, and it has been it's been improving me. So let's go do one more, okay, people? And try to go as high, higher each time you do it, and try to get articulation in the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and a good leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The good thing about it, like when my physical therapist is stretching me out and to see where my mobility is, like how far my leg goes up and my arm goes backwards and all this is that. Lucky when I was, I used to pop a break in the 80s and I took martial arts, I took karate, no big deal. Anyways, I think it all helped me to be better dancer when I was in the 80s. But I'm not trying to go there, but I'm just trying to say, sometimes your past could help you or your past is, no matter what your past is in the past, you want to look you want to look forward when you fall, you want to fall forward, you don't want to fall backwards. Falling backwards, you can't see where you're going. Falling forward, at least you know where you, you're you going to fall. At least you can see the, see the area where you're going to hit. And you have a chance to make a difference. So what I'm trying to tell you people, always try to help somebody else if you can. Get inspired by people. Watch other videos like the guy Nick, um, who got his last name. It starts with the V though, I'm pretty sure. And um, that's a pretty inspirational guy right there. And um, find whoever makes you do something, get that inspiration. And just try to help out somebody else that's a little bit less, has a little bit less than you, or has a little bit less mobility, and try to help them out. Even if it's just a family member, even if they could do more than you, then you can't. Always try to help them out as well. Like I'm always picking up after everybody here at the house. Because I, I'm not a clean freak, but I'm don't like too messy. I'm definitely not a hoarder, and um, so I always try to do as best I can. But I can't. Do, I don't want to endanger myself as well, people, because I don't want to get hurt. But anyways, I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of this. Baby, come here. I gotta comb out Peavy. Brush is clean. Brush is full. I don't know if you can see that. I just did a quick couple of strokes on that. Anyways, people. So I just want to let you guys know that you guys try to help out others, or at least help yourself out and start doing more for yourself. And if you're the only person that's around you that you could do things, be careful what you do. But do more workouts. If you're still in your wheelchair, do more in your wheelchair. Get a little bit brave that time. Make sure your chair is locked. Make sure you always have something to hold yourself up. And if you have a walker or a cane, make sure you have that be beside you as well. But you're not going to know your limits until you hit those limits. But you also want to be careful doing it. I'm a little bit braver than a lot of people because I have fell in, fallen a couple of times where I didn't have a cane or nothing. I had to drag my ass on the, on the ground. If I something to grab onto and pull myself up. But I did it. You can always wash your clothes. It's not a big deal. 
but it's going to show you that you can do things. Because I thought I couldn't do that, but I did it. Did I get dirty? Yes, I got dirty. Could I wash my clothes? Yes. But that's not the point, people. What I'm trying to tell you is that don't stay in that comfort zone because that's not a good place. It feels comfortable, but for you to get more independent and to get out of your out of your comfort zone, you got to move. You got to get out of that comfort zone. For that to happen, you got to take a little bit of risk, but be careful with it. Because I'm not trying to at all tell you guys try to take a chance, and you guys are gonna start walking, bam, bam, bam. It's not the way it works, people. This ain't no church and, oh, look at plays, la, 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 and you start walking again. You still got to do the work later. Maybe you could walk that day because your influence or your mind is thinking, yeah, you're pumped up or whatever. That's cool if you could. I wish I could. I'll find that church and I'll be there in a heartbeat. I'll probably cut in line and probably get kicked out. <laughs> but anyways, sorry for about the long speech today. I just I just saw a lot of things and I just, I wasn't really feeling for my, sorry for myself the last couple of days, but like at physical therapy, I've been talking to like two other people that was there, are there that had strokes. And one guy, he didn't have that severe of a stroke, like he barely had a little bit of face, face droopiness and whatever. And he's going to speech therapy, but he talks okay. And his mouth ain't even that bad. You can see my lip at times that it droops a little bit. It still does. And I talk a lot. But that's because that's me. So on Monday, I might throw some jokes on you guys on Monday because I skipped two weeks of jokes. But this Friday, for sure, we will be doing the turf thing. And I thank you guys for your time. If you guys can, please like, subscribe, share my videos. If you guys can, leave a comment down below. If you want me to do jumping jacks or do something or tell me where you guys are in your your um, progress and tell me where you guys are at in your right now tell me where you guys were at and when you guys have it let me know some information i like to know these kind of things i like to evaluate different situations that way i can see like that way i know what i'm talking about i don't want to feel like i'm the only person that had the stroke because everybody's stroke is different like i said so you can have a good day have a great weekend i'll see you guys monday okay